Right, good evening, everyone. I'm so happy to see you all here again. And it's been quite a long break, and a month seems like forever. But anyway, I'm happy to see you all back. And um, we are doing a lovely program of Back to Basics. Simpler, simplifying bridge so that you'll understand the basics of bridge and not feel that you are overrun with conventions and all the different terminologies that you're not familiar with. So tonight we're going to talk about how to play out a no trump contract and looking at winners and entries. We're going to do it this tonight and we're going to do it on Thursday. They're all different hands and I think they're very exciting hands. So what I'd like to do is bring up the hand straight away and we're going to go over hand number one. And if there are any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me. So let's look at hand number one. I was just discussing a few of the other hands. And we can do that afterwards if there's time. Right, let's talk about hand number one. I want to discuss bidding because it's really important that we understand the basis of a no-trump shape and what our bid means, because a lot of people do not understand what our bids mean. So let's go over the basics of bridge. North has a no trump shape. And North has got far too many points to open one no trump and opens one diamond. East passes. And now South has to make a bid because we're not allowed to pass with six or more points because the opener can have up to 21 high card points. So without four hearts and without four spades, it is automatic that we now make sure we bid one no trump. One no trump is a point count, denies four hearts, denies four spades. Pass by West, and this is what I want all of us to know the difference between the following bits. Two no trump shows 18, 19, and a no trump shape over one no trump. If you bid three no trump north, you do not have 18, 19 points. Three no trump would show a long running diamond suit, seven cards, maybe an outside ace, and you've got eight tricks in your own hand. So the bit of a minor followed by three no trump is a long running minor. There's a very big difference between two no and three no. Two no categorically is a balanced no trump shape with 18, 19, Three no would be a long running diamond suit. And it's going to go pass. And we never turn down an invitation with seven because seven and 18 or 19 is 25, 26. And we're going to accept the invitation. Three no trump. Okay. We're going to get the lead of a spade along the suit first. We have five, four, and it's our duty to do our longest suit first. And now we look at our cards together. In the spade suit, we have the ace, one stopper. In the hearts, we have none. In the clubs, we have three in the north hand and one in our hand. But we've got to be very careful how we play the hand. And in the diamond suit, we have four diamond tricks. So we've got four diamonds and four clubs are eight and the ace of spades is nine. Do not duck this trick. You don't want a heart through. They could beat you with a heart through. Take your ace now, right now. Don't duck it. Whatever you do, don't duck it, okay? You don't want to duck it. You should unblock with a single a, a queen doubleton. You should unblock. But that doesn't matter. 
Let's go for our nine tricks. We take our money and we run. We've got only one taxi to the south hand, one entry, and that is the Jack of Diamonds. So let's go back to the principle of no trump play. We keep our winners and dig up our treasures. But in this situation, we can see nine tricks. The most important thing on this lesson is our entry situation. So we need to play off the clubs first to unblock. King of clubs first. And then the queen of clubs. And then the jack of clubs. We don't know if they're going to break 3-3, three, three, but this way we guarantee we're going to make it. Now they did not break. Now we need one taxi to our hand. And the only taxi is the Jack of Diamonds to the high card from the shorter side first. Five of Diamonds to the Jack. Cash your Ace of Clubs while you're here and count your tricks. And now we've got how many? Six. And now we run for our lives. And we go for our contract as fast as we can. And we make nine tricks. It's all a matter of counting your winners and unblocking the club suit. And using your little jack of diamonds as your taxi to get to your hand. That's your only means of transportation. And the rest are theirs. Are there any questions, anybody, on hand number one? Nine trips, and then you run. We don't care about the rest. Any questions? None. Good. Everyone know, knew exactly how to do it. All right, let's go on to hand number Linda, seven. Linda, in the in the bidding, um, you said if there was long diamonds, you would uh, then go right to three no trump. Is that the same with any long suit? If you're a club, minor, you're a minor, minor, minor. Only minor. the minor, right? A minor, a minor followed by three no trump is a long running minor. Okay. It's like seven ace king queen to seven or ace king jack to seven and an outside ace and you're bidding on the long-running minor. There's a very big difference between the long-running minor and 1819. That is why I like you to differentiate that two no trump categorically is 1819, whereas three no trump over a minor is a long-running minor. And if you had a long-running major, you'd rebid the No, major. That, then you'd be in four Before. of your major. Okay, thanks. It's a different thing altogether. But we need to differentiate between the two. And I try to tell everybody that I don't want you just because you've got 19 points to go to three no trump. Rather, but two no trump. And tell partner you have the 18, 19 points. You might have bid on a bad five and then you're stopping two no. All right, here's number seven. We also have our number seven, 19 points. And we're pretty unbalanced. We're pretty unbalanced. All right, so we're going to open one heart. Pass by West. And now we have to bid one spade up the bidding ladder when we don't have enough points to bid at the two level. To bid two clubs, you need 11 or more high card points. So we always bid a four card major up the bidding ladder. Pass. And now you have this hand where you have no club stopper. So on this particular hand, we're going to jump shift in a new suit. A jump shift by the opener in a new suit, three diamonds, is forcing to gain. 
It says, partner, my first suit is at least five. My second suit's at least four. And I have 18, 19 points. Because if you had a club stopper, you would have been no trouble. So here you could definitely jump shift to guarantee that your first suit is longer than your second and you do not have a no trump shape. Pass by West. And now North has the club stopper. North does not have hearts. We can never support a second suit with three pieces. And you've got the club stopper. And now you bid three no trump. And the responder bids three no trump. Don't worry, partner. I have the club stopper. And now we play in three no trump. So remember, a jump shift is forcing to gain. A jump shift by opener in a new suit is forcing to gain. So let's count the tricks together. They're going to lead the queen of diamonds. We like to lead the unbid suit, but there's no ways. You're ever going to lead a club with ace, queen, ten. They must probably bidding it on the king of clubs and you cannot lead a club. So we lead the top of a sequence. And now we've got to look at the situation and count our winners. Now let's remember, when you are to Clara, there is no rule that second hand plays low. That does not apply to declarer. Second hand low applies to defenders, but not to declarer. So before we take our first trick, it's very, very important. Don't automatically play to the ace of diamonds because now you will never make the contract. You look at the spade suit. We've got the ace king. We look at our hand. We have the queen jack, but they're blocked. We don't have another spade to get to the north hand. How do we unblock that suit? Because we need to keep that little ace of diamonds as our taxi to make those spade tricks. So we've got four spade tricks, three hearts are seven, and two diamonds are nine, and we're going to run for our lives. So second hand low does not apply. We put up the king. You must be very careful before you play to the first trick. Get the ace of spades and the king of spades out of your way now. Unblock them. And the king. Out of your way. Now the only entry for those queen jack of spades is your ace of diamonds. So let's play a diamond to the ace. And now we can cash our queen of spades. We can throw off a club. And then the jack of spades. You can throw off a diamond. And now you're going to take your money and run. Five of hearts. Put up the queen and take your three half tricks as fast as you can, and then you can give up the rest of the game. I know you've made your contract. Any questions, everybody, on this bidding? Any questions? There you go. And the last four are theirs. It doesn't matter who plays or how. Any questions on this hand, please? None. All right. Everybody knows how to jump shift in a new suit. Okay. All right. We're going to go on to hand number 10. Remember to unblock everybody. I'm going to post hand number 10 up. Nineteen points, a no trump shape. So we're going to open the bidding one diamond, our longest minor. 
Toss by south. One heart by west. Toss by north. Two no trump. Eighteen nineteen. Pass. And now you're going to accept with seven because seven and nineteen is twenty six and seven and um, 18 is 25, and that is close enough. And we both three no trump. Okay. Let's look at the hands together before they lead. They're going to lead the unbid suit. They opened a diamond. They bid hearts. We cannot lead spades, so we're going to lead the two of clubs. Fourth from our longest and strongest. Oh, it's on this side. We'll have to lead a spade. East but no trump. So that's our longest and strongest. Now looking at the hands, let's discuss the jack and the nine and the eight in your hand. You have the eight, the little eight in your hand. Never put up the jack. You always want to play low in case somebody has to put up an honor and they don't have the 10. The 10 is a very important card. Third hand only plays as high as what dummy has. If you put up the queen, their jack will become a trick. If you put up the queen and they take the ace and they play towards the jack and they take the king, your jack will become a trick. So we're never going to play that way. We're going to play it the right way. Look at the dummy. Don't blindly put up the queen. The 10 is as good and keep the queen over the jack. So put up the 10. Now they have to take the ace. So let's see if we have nine tricks before we do anything on the hand. We've got one spade trick. We've got four heart tricks is five. And we've got four diamonds is nine. Let's take our money and run. We've got no club stopper. We've got nine tricks. And now we're going to play the high card from the short side first. King of Hearts. Jack of Hearts. And now we'll take four heart tricks. I have to keep four diamonds. They opened a diamond. We don't know they've got ace, king, queen. And now they're going to go for their four diamonds. And they're going to take their money and run. If you put up that queen of spades, they've got another trick. This way you just take your cards as fast as you can. You only put up as high as necessary. Keep that ten over that queen over the jack, please. I see so many of you just flying with the highest card. You never have to do that. Never. And now we have nine tricks. And there we go again. The last four. Are theirs. Any questions on this hand? Any questions on the bidding? One diamond, one heart, two no trump, three no trump. Any questions? None? Okay. Everyone's happy. They all did well, I bet. They took their money and ran. Nine tricks. All right, let's look at hand number 12. Please, I don't care how long it takes you before you play to the first trick. 
I don't, I don't care if you wait five minutes. I know they get very anxious, everybody, but it's your duty to take your time and analyze the situation before you play to the first trick. All right. We have 20 high card points in the West Hand. And we're very, very unbalanced on the hand. Um, we're pretty unbalanced. So uh, there are a lot of people that may open uh, to no Trump with a singleton ace. I'm not in favor of that at all. I think we can describe the, these 20 points with another jump shift. So I think we're much better off to open one diamond. One diamond is my choice. It's much better. And we can describe our shape. Partner's going to bid one spade. And now with a singleton, we cannot jump to three no trump. Because I said to you before that if you bid three no trump, you've got a long running minor and you cannot have 20 points. So on this hand, I would like to jump shift in a new suit to three clubs. A jump shift in a new suit is forcing to gain. It shows 18 to 21 points. Pass by north. And now East does not have a five card spade suit. And East does not have a, a heart stopper. So East is obliged to go back to the opener's first suit, which is three diamonds. Remember, three clubs is forcing to gain. Pass by some. And now you have the heart stopper. So now you will bid three no trump. I wonder if you all bid the hand this way. No. Linda, I have a question. Yes. At our table, they bid, they started, the West started with the club first. Why would we distort, distort our shape? That's and right. You always go with the longest, right? Always, always. I would never distort my shape, even if we were 5-5. Five, five. I always do the higher one first. I've seen people with 5-5 five, five start with the lower one and then go over the suit to show a good hand. You can still show a good hand by jump shifting in the lower one. It's definitely not correct to open a club. First of all, your diamonds for a lead are far better than a club. Normally, when we open, we want a lead directing suit. I like a good lead directing suit. I certainly don't want the lead of a club because I don't know where we're going on the hand. I really want a diamond. So it's incorrect to open a club without a doubt one diamond. Okay? Linda, question for you on this one. As East... He only has six points. So should he bid one no trump just to keep mm. the bidding open or does he bid a four card major? Always, always, always bid a four card major up the bidding ladder. The principle of bridge is to look for that eight card major suit fit. I never bypass a four card major ever, even if it doesn't have a picture. I have bid a heart on four to the little seven. And I bid a heart and my partner's got the ace, king, jack, ten, four times hearts. You must bid a major up the bidding ladder. Doesn't matter. I'm not interested in points. All we're showing is six points when we make a bid. So never bypass a four card major, even if it doesn't have a picture in the suit. Always bid up the line. If it was four, four, four hearts and four spades, I bid one heart. If it's five spades and four hearts, I bid a spade first, length first. Okay? okay, thank you. Pleasure. Any other questions? What about a board 11? Okay, let me finish. We're going to play the hand. We're going to get the lead, obviously, of the queen of hearts. I will do board 11 after this. We're going to lead the top of a sequence. It's the unbid suit. And now we've got to look at the hands. In the spade suit, I see two tricks, but the spades are blocked. In the hearts, we've got two. That's four. In the clubs, nothing. But in the diamonds, we've got five diamond tricks. So what we're going to do is we're going to win the first heart 
because we don't want to club switch. And never win the ace, always win the king. Never tell them everything you have. Get that ace of spades out of your way now. That singleton ace out of your way. Now we've only got one taxi to that dummy, maybe two. But the king of diamonds is a definite taxi. The ten of diamonds is also a taxi. So in this situation, I want you to put up the king of diamonds. And while you're in the dummy, I want you to take that king of spades. Because if you're counting, that's going to be your ninth trick. Throw away a heart. And now you can play the ten of diamonds. The high card from the short side. And then you can run for your life. Take your diamonds and your ace of hearts. And you'll be very, very happy to have unblocked that spade suit. I think unblocking is very important. Oh, we have to play here. What are we going to play? Partner led a heart. I better play a club. All right. And now you cash your ace of hearts. And now you've got your nine tricks. Okay. Unblock. Any questions, everybody? Any question on the board? Otherwise, I'll go on to the next one. Any questions? Don't forget to take that king of spades. Otherwise, you will go down. All right, next one. No questions on hand number 12? A jump shift in a new suit. All right, let's talk about 11. I have not looked at the hand yet, but I'll do it somehow. Let's look at it and see what it's all about. Switch off my phone. Right. On board number 11, did you have problems with the bidding or on the play of the hand? Was the bidding. The bidding. I know that's usually the biggest problem. Okay, you have 10 high card points. Um, some people open on a 10 count called the rule of 20. Um, I will not open on this hand for one reason. I do not have my two and a half defensive tricks. So I do not open on this hand. I like to have two and a half defensive tricks. That means an ace and a queen together is one and a half. I do not have any other trick. The king of clubs may be a half, but I do not open on the rule of 20 on this hand. It, it just isn't the way you should play the rule of 20. So you should go pass, pass. And this hand most probably will pass. Let me see. No, maybe not. Six, one, seven, five. five. They're going to open one heart. They've got an opening hand. Now let's look at East's hand. East cannot do anything after a heart. They cannot double. They don't have spades. So East is forced to pass. And now you're going to bid one spade. Pass by West. And now looking at this hand, you have the opportunity of bidding one no trump, a five, three, three, two shape to show 12 to 14 points. Or you can bid um, two spades with Queen Doubleton Club because you're worried about the club suit and you're worried you may not have a club stopper. Two spades does not guarantee four spades so that is a matter of style i like with queen doubleton to rebid a no trump because sometimes that queen is a trick and now we have to make a decision on this hand 
Your hand is very good on shape. So now I don't know if you all play a new minor. To say, partner, I don't like no trump. Um, I've got just under an opening hand, and I need you to know I have five spades. So you might want to bid two clubs or three clubs. I don't know what you learned when you learned beginner bridge, but I would bid two clubs to tell partner I'm unbalanced. I've got at least five spades, at least four clubs, and I don't like no trump for my hand. So over that bid, partner has to bid and support spades with three. Must support spades with three and is going to bid two spades. Pass. And now you could, now it's entirely up to you whether you think you should be going to game. Did you get to game or did you play in two spades? No, we did not get to game and we did not play in two spades. Well, what did you play in? I would be in two spades on the hand. What did you play in? I think we played in clubs. Partner never mentioned the spades. Really? Oh. Okay, well, I never deny a five-card major. Four spades down one. I wouldn't be in game, but I would make one more bid. I bid two clubs to say, partner, I don't like no trump. I'm very distributional. And partner goes to two spades. And partner doesn't have, partner does not need to have three spades to bid two spades. When you take out one no trump to two clubs, you're telling partner, listen, partner, if I like no trump, I would pass. But the fact that I'm bidding another suit, I do not like no trump, choose between my spades and my clubs. And you bid two spades. And that's where we would be playing. I would never be in four on this hand. Because partner showed a weak hand. Any questions? I have a question. Okay. My partner sitting south opened the hand with one with a one spade bid. Then we had a pass on west. What is my bid in north with a with 13 high right. cards? The, the points stronger you are, the slower you go. Okay. So what you want to do is the principle of the game is always to hear the opener's rebid. So you would open a spade, partner would bid two hearts, and now you've got a problem, and I'm going to explain why. Because to bid at the three level, three clubs, you're promising a high level reverse. Your hand is very strong because you've gone above your first suit to the three level and you don't have a strong hand at all. So in this situation, I would just bid two spades and never bid the club suit. I would never bid three clubs. And that's why you should not open this hand. It becomes a high level reverse at the three level. The minute partner bids two hearts, you got to jump past your suit to the three level. And that now becomes a force to game. And it causes a lot of problems because we really don't have the, the two and a half defensive tricks we promise when we open the bidding. So the rule of 20 is not a fast rule. This goes by... The rule of 20 is really the rule of 22. They rewrote it. They want you to have two and a half defensive tricks. Ace queen is one and a half. Your points are in the two suits and they want two and a half defensive tricks. If you don't have them, don't do it. I would never open that hand. One of the most interesting hands tonight was a hand we, uh, uh, on board number three that I did before all of you were here. Um, they asked me, how do they get to a slab? And I think you should all look at that board. But is there any other board you'd prefer me to talk about before we go to the other boards? You'll do any? that board three? You will do it? For those I'll do board there. three. Board Thank three you. is very interesting, and I think we can learn a lot from board three. So let me put what? up board three and show you why it's so important how we bid this hand. Okay. Um, South is going to pass, 
And I think we've got um, 19 points or 18 points, 18, 14, 15, 16, 18 points, okay? We cannot open one no trump, although we've got a no trump shape. So we always open the higher of two four card minors, which is standard bridge. We open one diamond. Pass by north, one spade by east. Longer suit first. If you had four hearts and four spades, you'd bid a heart. But if you have five spades and four hearts, you bid a spade. And now it's up to you to bid. You have a no trump hand. You do not have length in the first suit if you jump in the second suit. If you jumped in clubs, you guarantee your first suit's longer than your second. This is called a no trump shape, a four, four, three, two. And your bid is two no trump, 18, 19 points. Pass by north, three hearts by east. Partner, I've got at least five spades and at least four hearts. If you did not have three spades, you would bid three no trump. But once you've got three spades, you set the contract on spades. Partner, I have three spades with you. Now you look at your hand and you say, my goodness, i got a singleton. It's worth three extra points. I have a doubleton. It's worth another point. If we had to look at this hand and you've even got an extra trump that partner knows nothing about. Now, your partner's values have to be in clubs and diamonds because partner hasn't got the hearts and now has shown three spades. So you should look at this hand and you should be going to a slam. 100%. Partner's got 18, 19. You've got 11 high card. You add three for your singleton. That's 14. You add one for the doubleton is 15. What's 15 and 18? 33. We've got to go to slam. And now you go for no trump. Blackwood. Pass. And you bid five hearts. I have two aces. And then you want to know how many kings partners got. Five no trump. And partner bids six Hearts. Six clubs are no kings. Six diamonds is one king. And six hearts are two kings. And we're missing a king. We're not taking any chances. We don't know about the hearts. And we're going to go to six spades. So all of you should have been in six on this hand. Everybody. It's such a wonderful slam to be in. Did everybody get to six? Sorry, I've right footed in the wrong place. I meant to put it in the right place. One second. I have to pass and then put six spades. Okay. Did everyone get to six? No, no. we ended up in no trump. Only no, we can't one. end up in no trump with the seven of the uh, a nine card spade fit. We must but, put our hands out. We must put our shape out. We don't want to ever be a no trump on the shape. We always want to be in spades. Always. Linda, any, just for your information, nobody at the table and at any table bid slam. Wow. Wow. And if you look at the losing trick card, I don't know how many of you did it in the last couple of lessons with me. It's really not for your beginners, but if we had to look at the responders losers, we count losers by missing aces, kings, and queens. But because of a six spade, which we know nothing about, we can subtract one loser. So we've got two heart losers, the king and the queen. We have two club losers, the ace and the king, and one diamond. That's five losers. Partner is known to have seven losers. We add seven and five, 12, and we subtract it from the British style, which I teach the rule of 18. 18 minus 12 is six. And now we know we've got to be in slam. It's really amazing. 
it's <laughs> just a little tool to help you make decisions. It's not hard and fast, but boy, does that help you. Okay, any other questions? I'm sorry, can you go over the rule of 18 again, please? Right. Everyone's known to have seven losers when they open the bidding. The same as you're known to have 12 points when you open the bidding. So you count your losers, you add to partners' losers, seven and five is 12. And you subtract it from the rule of 18. And what does it do? It measures the level you should be playing at. There is, I know ACBL have um, a lady who's done an incredible job on the rule of 24, Jennifer Jones, but I don't teach that system. It tells you tricks. I prefer the level. So I use the British style, the rule of 18, and you use that. Seven and five is 12 from 18 is six. You should be in six on this hand. It's a great system when you're not sure whether to be in game or whether to be in slack. If you've got seven and partner's got seven, that's 14. Subtracted from 18, that's four. That means you must be in game. It tells you what level you should play in. It's Look it up. It's, it's pretty good. Look it up, the rule of 18. You'll find it somewhere. I've got it, but I'm redoing my website. It's not very good on my website. I have it on my website, but I'll redo it. Any other questions? Would you look at the bidding on board six for me? That's all I need to look at the bidding. Okay. Yeah, I'm very I'd happy. like to see that. I'd like to see that one too. Yep. Okay. Let's talk, talk about it. I haven't studied any of these hands. So at least we can do it together. Okay. Board six. Okay. Um, pass by east. Pass by south, pass by west. And now we have a five card major and a four card club suit. So we always have a rebird. So on this hand, I would definitely open one spade. And I've got 15 points, is it? Seven and three, 10, 11. 15 high card, one spade. Pass by east. And now you are a past hand. When you are a past hand and you have 11 points, you have to make a decision if you want to be in game or you don't want to be in game and which game do you want to be in. Well, you really want to be in spades because you have an eight card major suit fit. So when I'm a past hand, I never mess around. I want partner to know I have 11 points. So I'm going to bid three spades. And now partner will add for the doubleton and know that 11, you're past hand. 11 and 15 is 26 and we'll bid four spades. How did your bidding go that you wanted to know about this hand? Uh, partner didn't take me to three spades. They what? they bid their uh, hearts. Well, what did partner bid? Mm -hmm. Hearts. Too You're hard. not allowed to bid a four-card hard suit at the two level over one spade. It guarantees five spades. And being a past hand, mm -hmm. it denies a fit. This is a very important part of past hand bidding. When you are past hand, you should try and get to your games as fast as you can and show a fit with a fit. Do not bid new suits. Do not bid new suits. You are past hand. Partner does not have to bid again over two hearts. Partner so will Lin bid again. L Linda, I made, I, I made the same mistake. I was sitting south and I was taught, I guess, through the Bar Barbara Seagram system that you never do a limit raise like that when you only have three Trump. And that was probably my mistake. Okay, yes, you do You do, yeah. do a limit raise for one reason with three trumps. And this is the exception. There's always the exception in this game. And that is you are past hand. Yeah, okay, thank if you. If you're not a past hand, and this was my hand, I would bid two clubs. I would make a bid at the two level just to keep the bidding alive and wait to hear my partner's rebid. I cannot bid two hearts. I want to put them off leading a club. So I would bid two clubs. I wouldn't bid two diamonds. 
I just want to show my partner that I have 11 or more points in four clubs and see what my partner does. And then and then switch back to spades. Partner as soon will as then partner go responds. three clubs. Yeah. And you will go four spades. Yeah. Or three spades. And she'll go four spades. But never but a four card heart suit. You guarantee a five card suit over one spade. So you've got to manufacture a bid. But remember, there's a whole thing on pass hand bidding. I did it last year. I don't know which number it is, in which month it was. But pass hand bidding is very important. We can't wait for four trumps. Let's get there quickly. Let's not give them space to for a lead or to tell each other a story at the bridge table. I don't want to let people tell each other a story. If I can block them out, I block them out. Thank you. Pleasure. Anything else? Thank you. My pleasure. Anything else? Okay. All right. Well, I hope you've had a good time. We're going to uh, do this again on Thursday night with new hands and learn all about the counting winners in No Trump. And then next week we'll be counting winners in suits and the same sort of principle. And I hope you learned a lot. I thank you all for coming. And have a, I'll see you Thursday. Linda, are you still there? I am. I'm trying to find where I can stop the